Only the second one of these I've had so far. But it is the Retro Vinyl Mystery Box. Oh, yes. I absolutely love this last month. This is a vinyl, a record vinyl music subscription, and it's a mystery box. So you get free vinyl a month. Comes in at £29.95. You can get a discount if you follow, use someone's referral link. Uh, I use Jimmy Barnes. Uh, my referral link will probably be in the description down below the video. I'm really excited. This is November's box. If you're interested in my thoughts on last month's albums, so last month I got Family Values, Roxy, Music, Flesh and Blood, and I got Motionless in White. This is When Love Met Destruction. Awesome. If you're interested in thoughts of them, I will do it at the end of the video. But for now, let's dive straight into this month's. Let's see what we got. What's up, dudes and dudettes? All you awesome people. Welcome to the Geeky Heathen channel. I am Glenn, the Geeky Heathen, here with the Retro Mystery Vinyl Club. As I said, I'm really excited. I did change my settings, so I wanted more of a metal vinyl mystery uh, subscription. Uh, there isn't any companies out there that do that, but I said in the last video, the Retro, they have a option called Heavy, and this option, uh, it says Heavy, and it's, it's got metal slash punk, so there's gonna be some metal, and I did get a metal album in the last one, which I'm happy with. So I also chose 80s uh, rock, and my, my first subscription, I put down indie slash alternative, but I've now removed that and selected prog rock. Um, because of, I, was, I was really unsure what bands come under prog rock, but I want more metal, rocky music albums more so than anything else. Now I've changed it in the hopes that I get something more metal. <laughs> but let me show you what I've got this in this month's, and then I go on to the last month's. Oh, so disappointing. I'll just tear it open. Let's see this way. Let's get these out in no particular order. Oh, one's come separately. What is this? Bon Jovi, uh, 7800 Fahrenheit. Okay. I I don't mind a bit of Bon Jovi ones, yeah? Um, I like, is this an album? This is, this is, this is, the record itself is separate. Um, I see a lot of companies do this. Uh, Tokyo Road, hardest part is night, always run to you. To the Fire, Secret Dreams. There's only five. Oh, some on top of it as well. In and Out of Love, Price of Love, Only Lonely, King of the Mountain, and Silent Night. I don't think I've heard of any of these. Um, just have a date on it, 1985. So I don't think I've heard of any of these. This must be my 80s rock. And if I'm honest with you, I'm quite happy with this. I will listen to that and see what it's like. It's like an early one, Jovi. I know only their sort of major ones. Um, yeah, it's a little bit, a slight bit of damage on it, but other than that, this looks like pretty good record sleeve, in good condition. Looking forward to listening to that. I think 80s rock, I think this one's really automatically better than the last one's. And then next, I'm gonna separate again. What have we got? Oh, Europe, the final countdown. Okay, so I'm wondering, is this, one of these must be progressive rock, and one of these must be 80s rock. Um, yeah, the final countdown, everyone knows it. The final countdown. Uh, so what we got on this then? The final countdown, side one. Rock the night, carry, danger on the track, ninja, Cherokee, time has come, heart of stone, on the loose, and love chaser. And this is 1986. So obviously one of these must be progressive. One of these must be 80s. Or it could both be 80s, if, but I presume they've got one of each for every album. And I'm hoping the next last one is metal one, at least. anyway. Yeah, Europe. I mean, occasional songs okay. Don't mind it on, on a playlist, but I'm pretty, most of their songs sound the same. Unfortunately, maybe maybe I'm mistaken. I actually I will listen to them, listen to the album, and give you my thoughts on it. Then on the last one, separate it again. Oh, oh yes, they're doing well for the metal albums for me. So this is Saxon, Wheels of Steel. Uh, yeah, I like me a bit of Saxon, a bit of British metal. Oh, nice. Wheels of Steel, let's see what's on this Wheels of Steel album. Again, it's all separated, this is. So, side one, Motorcycle Man, Stand Up and Be Counted, 747, that's in bracket, Strangers in the Night, Wheels of Steel. And then, side two, Freeway Mad, Set 
See the Light Shining, Street Fighting Gang, Susie Hold On, and Machine Gun. Oh, look at the Young Saxon there. Oh, you don't see that without too much glare. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. So I'm really happy with the metal selections they're giving me. I'm actually happier with this, this month's box than last month's, actually. Um, I think it was a good choice for me to go for, change from Indies to Alt to Progressive Rock. Um, yes. I absolutely love this. Woolco, this came from originally. That's what the label's on it. That's how I think. Looks, looks like 225 or 325. Oh, what year was this? Should tell me on the back again, isn't it? Interesting. Uh, distributed by. Oh, is there a year on this? Doesn't seem to be one. Oh, there it is. Uh, recorded in Rampart Studios, London, February 1980. I don't know when it was actually released on record, but recorded in 1980. Yeah. I, oh, these could all be by the 80s, but I'm actually happy. Really happy to get Saxon. Um, I do like a bit of Saxon. Again, I don't, I don't think I've ever listened to a hot, full Saxon album. I've listened to some of the recent stuff as well. Um, more recent albums, which I quite, not albums, but singles. I tend to listen to the songs when I come on a playlist, and they're not bad. So, really, really happy with this. Excited to listen to that. Europe, I don't think I'm going to enjoy that so much because I'm just I'm trying to think of Final Countdown, yeah, it's a popular song, but is it something I'd listen to myself? Not really. I'll see what the rest of it sounds like. Probably going to be the similar, not be interested in it. Bon Jovi, I probably will enjoy this because I did like, I don't mind a bit of Bon Jovi, a little bit of rock that style. So, look forward to that. Oh, yes. What do you think of this month's? Comment, like, share, subscribe, all the normal YouTube stuff. Let me know out of these three albums, which is your favourite. Let me know if you listen to any of these as well. Um, so the one thing I am enjoying doing is actually listening to each album the whole way through. Uh, and then I'll kind of give you like a little bit of a review each month. So that's feeling wish. <laughs> Let's go to, I wrote notes on the listen to last month's. I wrote loads and loads of notes. <laughs> I, t I actually wrote sort of like song by song notes. Uh, I did film another video similar to that, but then I feel it makes the video too long. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a breakdown. Roxy Music, uh, Flesh and Blood. This was my 80s rock album. Now, it's kind of more like poppy rock, if anything. Pop, more poppy, um, it's more like ballads. I listened to the album the whole way through and I struggled with the first side. So the entire first side, I was just like, oh, I don't, I almost didn't listen to the second side. That's how bad I thought it was. And I wasn't really into it at all. Listen to the second side, and the second side was better. Um, was it great? Was it brilliant? No, it was better than the first side. I did enjoy it. Um, I wrote down here, Running Wild uh, was my favorite. Had a great build and the guitars at the end was good. So there's, that was more of a rock song. I did really enjoy that one, but not really one for me. Not one I'm gonna keep in my collection. So this is one I'm gonna stick up on my eBay. Uh, so that'll be up on my eBay page at some point. And then the next one I listened to was Holy Family values this is the indie slash alt uh it is indie rock it was also a good start it was i did enjoy it um i wrote down like a basic because i don't want to give you the full songs tell you about like some of heavy some are not like the first song on this um the vocals were very quiet the guitars and everything else overpowered it so i wasn't too keen i was like oh what's going on here i didn't know if the mixing was wrong or that's how they want the song to come out um but then overall I like, I wrote down, I like this album. Um, it sounds very much like an indie rock band, but there was nothing sort of that made it stand out from any other sort of indie, indie alt band. It just sounded very generic, like every other indie alt band out there. I think like it was good, don't get me wrong. It was absolutely brilliant, um, but nothing stood out and made this sound different to any other band. It just sounded like any other band. It could have been, could have been any band I listened to. Um, that's my thoughts on that, but I'd enjoyed it. Am I going to keep it? No, I'm not going to listen to it again. That's why I've removed the alt slash indie, because uh, I'm more into rock metal. And then, turn the page over. Motionless in White, when love met destruction. Now, when I unboxed it, I didn't even realize this is a 10 year anniversary edition. This is uh, the first final pressing uh, featured Ghost in the Mirror. This is the EP that they released before they did their albums. So, I know Motionless in White from uh, Immaculate Misconceptions, that the song, which was 2010, and it was from the album Creatures. Uh, when I came out, I absolutely loved that song and the music video. I 
played it over and over again, listened to that song over and over again, and most of the for me from then onwards were feeling brilliant band. Listening to this, so there's only three songs on each side, so six songs on this, and it's really interesting listening to, uh, I liked it, I did enjoy it, it's interesting hearing because uh, I listen to the sound of this and I can hear, I, I know the, the newer stuff and I hear how they've progressed and how they've come from this to the new stuff. I always find it fascinating um, how all this happens with groups. When they do like an EP, it's, it, they always, the EP sound okay, they sound good, you enjoy them, but then when their album comes out, the album just seems to be so much better than the EP, like it's phenomenal. I don't understand how the record companies do this or what happens between a band releasing an EP and releasing a record. I don't, maybe someone in the industry can explain to me how it jumps from one sound to something sounding like phenomenally amazing. Uh, even, even like the writing, the sounds, everything just seems to take a step up from EPs to albums for me. Uh, I don't know how that happens or why, but it was really, really interesting listening to where most of my sort of came from. And I will be keeping this in my collection and I will probably put this on again, uh, especially if I get a few more Motionless and White's albums, maybe I'll. I'll have a, I'll list, uh, an evening where I listen through all their stuff from early to the end, uh, well, early to the newest. So that's my thoughts on this. I love this. This was my favorite record of them all. Uh, I have a feeling that every month the metal record is gonna be my favorite. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna hear the guys here. I don't want to be able to see too long. I absolutely love this description. Uh, I've kind of moved on from Funko Pops to vinyl records. I moved from my vinyl from vinyl pops to vinyl records <laughs> uh, when it comes to collecting I'm really really into my records right now but I'm going to hear you guys I don't want to too long I'm the Geeky Heathen as always much love until next time stay awesome